Hello ladies and gentlemen and welcome to my farming video. This one will be able to be do, done by any character as long as you're 60 and can get an Inferno. I'm not sure about Nightmare, Normal, and Hell, but Inferno gives you the best outcome. So what you want, all you need is up to Legacy of Cain, Explore the Cellar. So you click the select quest, start, and this is where you're going to start. I'm going to take you through the whole thing and show you up until Let I find one. Seek honor together, my what we are looking for is the dank cellar. You probably saw my uh, <clears throat> dark and dank cellar uh, video, but this one is actually a little bit more focused on one thing. So you go to your old ruins. From here, you'll be going over here. Take out anything that's in your way, you know, blah, 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 buff up. Just make sure you don't die. But pretty much this run is going to be easy. As you can see right here at the checkpoint. Diablo himself wants this is where you'll spawn from now on. So make sure you buff. And then just spam your way here. This is what you're looking for. It has a 30% chance, I believe. I think it's now down to 1 fourth. But as you can tell, it's set up a teleport, armor, buff, and I also have Archon. I'm setting it at about 12,000 DPS and 229 Magic Fine. That's, you know really doesn't matter if you have magic find but it helps also try to get some with uh, the yard picket pickup but I couldn't find anything to match mine it takes me down to about 180 something but in the end it doesn't matter it's just how fast you run it so I just pop up Archon and I just shoot down the middle kill any and everything that's in my way and there you go so let's look at it 1,520,000 go through and just start picking up all this there we go nine grand in one run now see that would have been way faster Thank if i wasn't talking me fight the darkness come on to contend with evil is the essence of what it means to be a templar so that's pretty much there it that's so the run you go out in this universe i mean you teleport you leave you pick up the bloods if you want some don't some do i mean i pick them up because i found a uh, 1200 Let dps weapon there but since you got that checkpoint now you start here so basically you just buff up or you can buff up inside there need more time and if you see this with the boards on it, just leave. I'll go until I find another one just so you guys can see how it goes. And, you know, that's why it's so random. So I can't put out a certain amount because sometimes I'll see it for an hour and make 170. Then it's, it's really not worth it unless you really can't do anything, even the farming techniques or anything like that. But it is pretty good if you can, you know, it, it helps you get up the goal to actually buy that gear you need to get in there. Still waiting. And sometimes you get stuck doing the teleport. Just walk past them. See, I can't survive these hits right now. See, this is boarded up again. But all it is is just getting here as fast as you can to see if it's done. Because I did take off that uh, the limit of how many games you can make per hour. Since I, I think it was gone that first day or within the next day because so many people were complaining it about it. They were trying to trade and help their friends. Not ready yet. And they, you know, they kept going in and in and in and then they just get kicked for 15 minutes at a time. And, you know, it's out of nowhere, bam, there's half the population of Diablo 3 gone. So they took that off. I think they're trying to come up with another way to uh, reduce how many times you can enter a game or whatever. It is good to fight with you so who knows? I'm not too sure. Still waiting. Ah, there it is. It's open again. So, as you saw, three in a row. That's I didn't get treasure. it. But come in here. Just kill him. He doesn't attack for a minute. And then after a certain while, he'll come up to you. But that's it. So we're at now. 29. Picking up everything here. Pick up this blue as well. Sometimes I pick up the diamonds, they don't matter. But, see, right there, that was only uh, six grand or so. That's not too bad. And then sometimes you'll get like 10 or 15 in a row that you actually get the seller and you go in there and bam. It's that easy. And I mean, I was doing this, if I take this off and put on my other weapon, I go down to about 8,000 DPS, even with uh, this, with the rune that increases my damage by 50%, 15%. So either way, it's a very good way to make money. I mean, I was down to 200000 and I just did random shit. But like I said, I made over 400000 doing this by itself for like an hour. But, you know, I've seen other of my friends do it and they're getting about 400000 But it's all up to you. You would do this until you can afford the gear to actually go out and farm Act 1 so you can get the 63s to sell and all that kind of stuff. But... 
either way I hope you enjoyed my video stay tuned I have a couple more other farming ones that will come up in the next day or so don't forget to like and subscribe and see you later